YouTube, it is your favorite game here above, Average Cody, and today is the start of the Winter Contingency 2 event in Halo Infinite. I'm going to tell you guys why I think this is the best limited time event that we have seen so far in this game. So I'm going to jump right into why I am so excited about this event. It's not the cosmetics, it's not the something new in Halo Infinite, guys. It is how you unlock the tiers. Now, if you go to the thing on the main page here, it says complete challenges to unlock brand new festive cosmetic rewards in the event pass. Uh, it is the regular 10 tier event pass. You do have two weeks to complete it. So 13 days from the time you are watching this video. But the biggest thing, guys, is the challenges you have to complete. Wait for it. Are just the regular challenges. You can see every single one of these is an event challenge and that is huge because normally the biggest complaint of these little events guys is having is being forced to play certain game modes such that i can complete the one or maybe two if you're lucky event challenges that i have in my tier and then eventually run out of event challenges and have to go play a different game mode to complete the regular challenges to unlock more event challenges it was a disaster but no in for this event guys the winter contingency 2 you can literally just do any of them kill enemy spartans with grenades i have to do that once um, complete matches of any mode. Do that once. Earn kills or assists in any mode. 35 times. That's that's a bit of a grinder, but stick an enemy's part with a grenade. Do that once. Like, it's easy, guys. You can do any of these challenges. I normally complete them all anyways without even looking at it. So this is fantastic. You can literally just complete any of the challenges on the screen as long as it has this banner, which all of them do. Uh, it counts as an event challenge. Now, guys, the bread and butter... What do we think of the cosmetics here? Let's move this camera angle all the way out of here so we can see what's going on. So tier one, you get this little backdrop with some snowflakes. Kind of cute. Not that special. Uh, next up, you get an epic vehicle emblem. It's all right. It's a snowflake. You know, it's cool. But here we go, guys. Here we go. A BR skin. They avoided giving us BR skin so much except for through Twitch drops. And this one is so clean. It looks so good, man. The white with the icy blue snowflake pattern. Oh, I... Guys, this is going to put to bed the diamond coating for me, the Gladiator's Edge, and the uh, the Optic one. I, I'm going to be running this. This is clean AF. I don't know what you guys think of it. Let me know in a comment. But I am so excited. And even better, not as great as a BR, but they're giving us a Hydra skin, dude. How like, how do I still have guns that don't have skins? Uh, so I think this is a massive W. I very rarely have the Hydra in my hands unless it's like a Fiesta in Forge Customs. But like, I think it's great that they're giving us a skin so my gun doesn't have to be default and boring anymore. Uh, you also get ornamental chest attachment which is literally red and green frag grenades awesome i think the only time i've seen people in anything special is the pineapple pack that you had to buy obviously so it's nice that we're getting something so subtle in um a free 10 tier pass um you get the weapon emblem the same snowflake that was on the vehicle except you can put it on your weapon and then of course you get the same thing for the sidekick just a nice little um nice little extra nugget there of uh the christmas vibes i'll probably put this on for a bit but i will keep the gladiator's edge diamond camo on my pistol because it just looks really clean and if i'm putting this skin on my br uh, i still got to tip the hat to the amazing diamond coating and then you get this awesome candy cane visor i think it's cute it's very festive i like it a lot i think it's very cool and then obviously you get the snowflake for your little uh calling card with it nameplate they call it a nameplate forgive me for calling it the call of duty name how dare i do that and then, of course, guys, the Santa hat. You get a Santa hat for your Spartan. Can't complain about that. That's very nice, too. Silent Nightcap, it's called. Helmet attachment. I like it. It looks really detailed, actually, and I kind of like how it just, like, flops over to the side. I don't know. I like the vibes. I'll be running most of this stuff, guys. I think it's nice. It's not overly festive like a regular, like, oh, let's just do a green-blue armor coating and then give them a weapon, an AR skin or something. No, this is cool, guys. A BR skin, can't complain about And it's a clean BR skin. Some nice little grenade chest attachment. Beautiful. Santa's hat, 
awesome with the candy cane visor. I'm running all of it. I think it's awesome, guys. So we're two for two because the challenges are easy to complete and I don't have to play a stupid game mode and the cosmetics are really cool, which I think is awesome. Uh, this is seriously the best limited time event we've had for, I mean, cosmetics are always cool to me, especially when they're free, so that's kind of like always a W, but this event thing, guys, best event yet because of the challenges for the event, and just to show you guys what's in the shop, the Fire and Frost skin is back, and it is actually on sale for only 1200 which I think is a bit more fair for this bundle because it is a pretty dope uh, armor coating. And then, of course, the shotgun's pretty cool. You can get the sleigh bells for only 300 which is kind of cute, too. Um, you get the pointed candy cane chest attachment. And then this is where you get the antlers and the red nose. Uh, kind of funny. Uh, I wouldn't complain if I saw it. I don't know. Like, I have, what, 200 credits? I'm not going to pay to get extra credits so that I can buy it. And then vehicle, you get a sale on the Tactic Clamp 117. And then, obviously, everything else is pretty on par. But, yeah, guys, I wasn't going to do a video on this event, but I'm really happy about the event challenge changes and the fact that all of them count. So I'm not just being forced to funnel into a game mode I don't want to play. I can literally get on for rank tomorrow and just play and probably complete all of these challenges. And I think that's really fantastic. But all right, guys, let me know in the comments your thoughts on the challenge, the cosmetics. What do you think? W, L, do you not care? I want to hear all of it, guys. But other than that, subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, guys, tons of Halo Infinite content. We literally stream ranked and such five days a week, forge customs with viewers, all kinds of good stuff here. Hit that sub button, guys. Leave a like on the video. It helps out ever so much. I already mentioned, leave me a comment. I want to hear all your thoughts on this new event. And then finally, guys, channel memberships. Super thanks. If you'd like to support monetarily, um, I can finally go and purchase that uh, Fire and Frost pack in the shop. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Please do not feel like you have to, but it does help out ever so much um, if you choose to do so. But that does it for me, guys. Thank you so, so much for all the support lately. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay tuned for the next video.